I would like uh, Gufna, if it's okay, to uh, uh, speak a little bit um, about the time we met. So we met following the work of SIBO uh, with the CPW, which is a joint venture of Nestle. And um, due to, to high demand of your products in the market, uh, as, a, as a consumer, I can say, Awesome has, has an excellent set of products. You decided to look for a solution that uh, increase the capacity of your production lines. And I'm, I'm curious if you can share with us your uh, point of view on the business goals and the challenges, and obviously uh, what would be your recommendations to other executives? Sure. So to answer your questions, Liran, um, our business goal uh, regarding uh, operational mastership is, uh, of course, uh, the general one. And uh, specifically, uh, it's really about uh, um, the continuous improvement of uh, process capabilities. So uh, we are constantly looking for advanced tools and solutions to drive our lines up. As you mentioned, uh, there is high demand for our uh, product. And uh, this is something that is always in our focus. Uh, clearly, we understand the power of uh, process analytics, of AI, of uh, machine learning. And uh, what was important, as you mentioned before, it's really to identify the most business fit case and uh, to uh, choose the production processes where we want to deploy process analytics. So this was a key first element of our work. Um, okay, you call it the lighthouse approach. I like it. Uh, for us, it was really about focusing. We decided and we, we, we understood from the beginning that we had to focus. To do that, we uh, first chose the right project and decided that this is what we have uh, to make work. And uh, this means uh, once we were absolutely convinced that we've selected the right uh, target, this is uh, when we got everyone on board and uh, we addressed the, the, the challenges as we got along. So clearly the challenges, they don't all come together one by one, but we understood that with focus, we have to um, address it. So some of the challenges are really high level, making decisions, uh, making things move um, on the broader uh, perspective of that. And sometimes it is simply about continuous facilitation, simplification, small steps to make things happen. So it's really, as you say, it's about focus. We, uh, we focused and we continue to focus, uh, making sure that uh, uh, we can uh, continuously progress on, uh, on the projects. Um, if you ask me for my advice to executives, but uh, definitely to everyone engaged in, uh, in the projects, uh, first and foremost, it's about um, uh, it's about our strategy. It's about understanding where we have the strategic opportunities and needs, and uh, making sure that we're addressing those. Uh, next step, very important, is to identify the right partners, who to work with. Uh, we are very selective on that, and uh, in our case, first we're looking for preferably companies that have experience in our industry. In my case, it's a, a food industry. Uh, as uh, many uh, of my colleagues here and uh, companies with experience in the food industry, this definitely makes a difference. Second, uh, we also look for companies with preferably good experience with Nestle or like in your case, uh, a, a, an experience with the CPW with a joint venture of Nestle, but uh, that uh, definitely gives another advantage, uh, this uh, pre-evaluation I would say. and. Uh, in, in, in our case, it just, it ensures that we understand each other better. It ensures that we speak the same language, that we hold the same standards. It's a good precondition. Very important then is to identify the right internal partners, those that are the change agents, those that really wanna make it happen, that it is in their blood and not necessarily in their objectives, but they wanna make it happen. And uh, with those, uh, we can really transform things. I really wanna take this uh, uh, opportunity to uh, thank uh, my colleague Gal Levy, who is the operational manager of OSEM, and he's very, very instrumental in making things happen and progress the project. Um, Next step is clearly to identify the right business case. It's absolutely crucial. Uh, this would be then uh, our compass. If we have the right business case and we know that the business opportunity is there, we never let our eyes off the target. And it's not about testing a new technology. It's about testing a technology that we know upfront will make a difference uh, for the business. 
Last, but definitely not least, maybe the most important, is then to get the buy-in from uh, the stakeholders. There is the stakeholders in the management level that make the decisions that are responsible for the resources. we got to get them on board, clearly with the ne ne uh, necessary preconditions that I mentioned before, the partners, the business case, and everything. We have the right opportunity and way to convince those. But then it is about getting the buy-in from the project team. And the project team has to be on board and we have to make sure that we have the right project team speaking from uh, the skills but i would say maybe most important is from the spirit so if you ask me this is it in a nutshell <laughs>